How do you change careers or start your own business when you're exhausted? So one of the worst scenarios and one of the most frustrating scenarios you can find yourself in as an aspiring career changer or as an aspiring entrepreneur is having the job you want to escape from making you so exhausted that it becomes impossible to do so. Now, if that's you right now and you're so exhausted and you're wondering how your transition is ever going to happen, then I want you to know that I can help you. It is an area I've got an enormous amount of experience with and this video, I will share three specific areas you can focus on right now to generate energy. Because here's the deal, a lot of people think that exhaustion is a sign to stay put and to see what happens, but no, exhaustion is a sure sign that you need a change. Because here's the deal, no job is worth killing yourself over, especially if you don't enjoy it. So let's talk about how we can get you out of there. Now, your day probably looks something like this. You wake up, you probably didn't sleep very well, you commute to work, you sit down on your desk all day, you probably don't move very much, you probably don't eat very healthy, you probably don't really get very good quality sleep. You might go to the pub after work, you might drink quite a lot of alcohol, eat quite a lot of sweets, and then there's the whole bitchiness thing, politics, all of that as well, but overall, it just results in a lot of exhaustion. So what I wanna let you know is that when you are exhausted, you really feel like everything is out of your control. And especially also when you work with someone else. So what I want us to look at is what are the areas that are within your control and that can also give you energy straight away. Because energy is something you generate. It's not just something that exists out there. So let's look at how can you start generating energy? Because what that means is that you don't have to put your transition on hold. You just have to do it in tandem with some very specific interventions. So what I've learned over the last 12 years working with clients who are exhausted and who want to change career is that there are three specific areas that you can address straight away to get more energy. Now we're going to talk about physical health in this particular video, but mental health is equally as important and there'll be another video about that. But physical health as in what you eat, what you drink, how much you move and how much you sleep, that is something you can start addressing straight away. So what I'll share with you are the tips that I work best for my clients in terms of giving them energy back the fastest so they could make that change, they could start that business, they could create that dream career, okay? So if you're ready, what I suggest that we do is listen in and then find the one area where you can get started the fastest. And generally what I recommend is what sounds like will be the easiest for you to implement and then pick that one area get it up and running, and then add the other two one by one, all right? So eat and drink. What I notice is that a lot of people who are unhappy in their career or who are very exhausted is they tend to drink a lot. Now, we're not necessarily talking about alcoholics, even though for some that's the case and you know what to do, but often when I work, especially with private clients and they really wanna make a change and they wanna do it now, is I ask them to cut out booze for three months. So cut drinking for three months. Now, I wanna say up front, I'm not against drinking, I love a good glass of full-bodied Argentinian red, but when you're going through a lot of stress and you're very exhausted, the last thing you wanna do is drink excessively because it depletes your energy, it makes you get really bad quality sleep, and it also makes you depressed over time. So what I suggest you do is cut alcohol for the next three months, your energy levels will go through the roof if that's something you normally do a lot of, also, cut down on your sugar consumption. Sugar drains you and kills you slowly. And what all the scientists are realizing now and what is, it's really the new killer is sugar. It's a killer of your energy for sure. So also what happens is that often people use these two as a crutch for staying stuck and for comforting themselves. So once you pull them, you'll get more energy and you will have no choice but to change. I don't need, I think in this video, to talk about healthy eating. You know how that works find the right diet for you, and especially prep ahead. That brings us to number two, which is all about moving, as in sports, exercise. I prefer to call it movement because it just sounds so much nicer. Um, a lot of people don't have time for exercise. I totally get that. But people also have this idea they have to do an hour or nothing. And what tends to work really well for people in transition is to cut it down and just do 20 or 30 minutes several times a week and do it from home. So whether you use an online provider like Yoga Glow or Bathory or any of the fitness download apps, just do it at home and just do 20 minutes or 30 minutes rather than nothing, but do it several times a week. That will make all of the difference. See if you can get a stand-up desk at work or get a nice chair, 
go for walks throughout the day, get off you know, a tube stop before or a train stop before. If you live in America, you might be using your car a lot. If you're like a lot of my clients, you're in New York and San Francisco, there are plenty of chances for going for a walk. It is so important to move your body. And here's why. When you are in exhaustion, and especially when you're a smart person like you, you spend so much time in your head, that exhausts you. The brain requires an enormous amount of energy. So get out of your head and get into your body and move. That will generate energy like there is no tomorrow. The third one is sleep. Now, I personally have a lot of experience with this one. I am, I've been an insomniac for years and I know how much of a difference it makes when I get proper sleep. There's so many things you can do to improve the quality of your sleep. A lot of people who work in professional environments really think, oh, sleep is for suckers, right? But actually research shows that sleep is one of the key indicators of high performance, how well you sleep, both in sports and in the business and the career world. So do whatever you can to really prioritize your sleep, get the sleep that you need and the quality of the sleep that you need. Especially if you give up things like boost for a while, you'll notice that the quality of your sleep will get a lot better. Personally, um, my clients and myself have had really good uh, results with CBTI. That's cognitive behavioral therapy, specifically for insomnia, CBTI, which actually addresses the psychological issues of why you might not be sleeping. So if sleep is an issue for you, you need to address that straight away. You will get so much more energy. So those are the three areas that my clients have found gives them the energy that it takes to at the same time keep that career change going or start it. So look at which ones can you most easily start addressing now and then do it. You will get so much more energy. So like I said, what is important is that you realize that the kind of things that can give you energy, they're totally within your control. So pick either the eat, drink, or the move, or the sleep, and you will feel so much better. Give yourself three weeks to see the results and then add another one. Now, I also know that when you're exhausted, it can be really difficult to know what to focus on when it comes to changing careers or starting your own business. I've got something for you. Come on over to ricky.me forward slash kickstart, and I got a one pager there with three areas, three actions that you can start doing straight away to figure out what the right career or business is for you. So I'll see you over there. Thank you so much and take exceptionally good care of yourself.